The passing of former Mayor Godbold is drawing emotional reactions from city and state leaders who knew him well. They call him a mentor, a father figure, and a man who loved Jacksonville. Just 30 minutes ago, Sheriff Mike Williams sent us this statement saying, I join our city as it mourns the loss of former Mayor Jake Godbold. He loved Jacksonville and continued to serve the city he loved so much well beyond his term in office. He had a huge personality that inspired others to bring their best to the game. I have appreciated the candid advice he has provided me over the years. He will be sincerely missed. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci spoke with local leaders about the legacy Jake Godbold leaves with us. Vic. They call him an icon. They call him a legend, Mary and Tom. Truly a man who made an incredible impact here in the city of Jacksonville. And we went here moments after his death to City Hall and heard from so many leaders, past and present, about how Jake Godbold changed their lives, did everything he could to protect this city. It wasn't about being a Democrat or a Republican. It wasn't about your socioeconomic status or what you believed in. It was about making this city a better place. I spoke with former Jacksonville City Council President Eric Smith, a close friend of Jake Godbold, as well as two other former mayors, former Mayor Tommy Hazuri, who succeeded Godbold and John Delaney, who ultimately replaced him after running against him. All three of them have fond things to say about the former leader here. We're going to miss him. He is he's always going to be a part of our soul and uh, doing right for Jacksonville. And uh, it was a love for the city that uh, was not surpassed by anyone else. I think I, I'll, I'll miss uh, the uh, the the uh, the, the, the smile and the positive can-do attitude and the willingness to help Jacksonville in any way that he could. He's physically had slowed a little bit, but mentally he was just sharp as a tack. And, and he was energized about this GAA fight. Um, but you just can't find somebody that loved the city more than Jake. He was just kind of a relentless and perpetual cheerleader for the town. And uh, he wouldn't listen to anybody criticizing the place. Um, it's a blow. I mean, he really helped kind of give an identity to the city. Look, Jake Godbold was a political leader, so obviously he butted heads with people, including some of those men that you spoke with right there, but they say they absolutely respected him. They are so thankful for what he did, and they knew that he always had everyone's best interest in mind. John Delaney, uh, Mayor Hazuri there, speaking about some of the things that Jake Godbold brought to Jacksonville, including the convention center, the Riverwalk, so many developments, and they say he got the ball rolling on getting the Jacksonville Jaguars here, of course, giving Jags, uh, giving Jacksonville an NFL team. So much more at six o'clock for now. We're live outside City Hall downtown. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Vic. And longtime City Councilman Matt Carlucci has a unique perspective on Godbold's life. Councilman Carlucci is joining us. Matt, your late father, Joe, was a contemporary of the mayor's. They served on the city council together. You kind of yes. grew up knowing Mayor Godbold. Yes, I did. I grew up knowing Jake, and um, he's like the last link to my daddy that I have. Um, yes. And the last few months, you know, as we all were all fighting for the issues that were important to Jake, that were important to me, if he knew I was having a bad day, he called me on the phone, and I can't exactly say how he would say it, but he'd say, Dad, gum it, Carlucci, you just keep <laughs> fighting, and I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was almost like listening to my dad through him and, 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 and then listening it and hearing it from him. And it, it, we all just, he just helped me like a father, and, um, and uh, I will miss him dearly. He's great, he was great, he was Jackson's greatest patriarch and our greatest statesman ever. Have you ever met anybody who loved people more than Jake Godbold loved all people? Jake Godbold, he could tell it like it was and it might make some people upset, but they also knew down deep inside he was saying it because he loved them. Mm. And nobody could love this community. He also knew that this community could not move forward if they didn't feel loved, if they didn't feel included. That's why when he brought all those fans, like we all remember, to the Gator Ball, we were all there together, rich, poor. It didn't matter. 
and he just he he just loved everybody in this town and i think everybody has cried a tear today that that had that knew him that voice yeah. too that booming voice oh that, that voice character. oh I he mean, would, yeah and and you know he'd come by my office to to, to see me sometimes and and I just gonna keep you a minute, Matt. You know, and <laughs> we'd be in this car for 35 minutes. And, but yeah, I, I just it's it's just gonna leave such a void in this city, and it's it's got to be filled. But I got to tell you, um, nobody loved Jacksonville more than Jake Godbold, and he had good, smart people around him that helped yeah. him. And I just I just feel so fortunate that I grew up in a family that knew him, that worked with him. He and Dad, they got along great. Sometimes they fought, but it was always, you always knew that it was what was best for Jacksonville, and then they'd get over it, and they'd move on, or go fishing together, or hunting together. <laughs> you know? But he had those roots here, too. And, and oh. like, he would say that he grew, where he grew up, maybe... He, he grew up in the Brentwood Projects, so he knew what it was like to be he knew poor. What he had... So, Great perspective. So, so, so there'd be people fishing out on the Riverwalk, and one time somebody tried to get him to get those people from fishing on the Riverwalk. And he, he said, heck no, I'm not going to let them quit mm. fishing on the river. And if you close those gates, I'm coming over there, and I'm going to open them up. <laughs> and so I, I have always told people, if, if there were people on the South Bank Riverwalk catching their, their dinner, fishing, and there were people up in the River Club that needed help, He'd be in, but the people down the Riverwalk needed help. He'd be down there with Riverwalk, helping right. those people because right. he was he was a people's mayor, but he loved everybody, and um, and it's been it's, it's a very it's a very sad day, but hopefully a day that will pull us all together. Remember what's good about Jacksonville. Never forget. Just never forget. Never forget. Mm -mm. Thank you, Councilman. You're welcome. Since I started working here at Channel Four almost 45 years ago. I'm pretty sure I've interviewed Jake Godbold more than any other reporter in town, especially after he left the mayor's office. When he had something he wanted to say, he called me, and I'd go interview him. Any reporter who'd been in my shoes would have done exactly the same thing. He was always a great interview, a five-star, no, really a ten-star storyteller. He just called me this past Saturday with a story he wanted me to be aware of. He was not only a terrific interview, he was a reliable source as was the late Joe Carlucci, by the way. But a funny thing happened many years ago. He wanted us to become personal friends. Him, a politician, me, a reporter. Seemed unnatural to me, but I always checked with our news director before my wife and I would accept Mayor Godbold's invitations to go to a football game with him and his wife, Jean, and with his other friends, Ed Austin, Patty Austin, uh, Dr. Roy Baker, and Audrey Baker, um, pioneers in our city in so many ways and I experienced Jake Godbold's unconditional love as did my wife Gina experienced their unconditional love his his wife his his late wife Jean and the friendship blossomed so I not only has Jacksonville lost a leader but you're gonna be seeing me crying today folks because I've I've lost a dear dear friend um, a great never I, I have a lot of other friends that I love dearly, but there's only one Jake Godbold. Um, your friendship is Truly. Special. Very, yeah. very special friendship. We'll, we'll never forget him. No, we never will. You'll we never, never forget will. him. For I, sure. I just talked to him this past weekend. It's just, just incredible to find out that the day he's gone. You know, just. But he, he has, his health has not been good lately. So. Right, right. I just loved seeing him every time when we would go to the Barbara Ann Campbell Memorial Breakfast, yeah. and, um, and there were be a few, the MC at seven o'clock in the morning. In the morning, and and if he was there, it was a great day. And sometimes he couldn't make it because of his health, but we always knew he had he had they had his support, and that's all that mattered. Passionate about the landing, passionate about NFL football, but oh yes, also passionate about domestic, domestic violence, violence because his really. sister-in-law yeah. was killed by domestic violence. Mm -hmm. That he always felt for everyone around him, very empathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Heartfelt condolences and memories of the former mayor are pouring into social media tonight as well. Many saying, rest in power to the city legend. And Joy is here now with what they've shared. Joy. 
Um, let me say, I just have enjoyed listening to your memories. They're so precious. Thank you for sharing those. We have pulled three of the scores of support, well wishes, and memories posted on social media. First, let's take a look at Jacksonville's current mayor, Lenny Curry. He posted here, I have long admired his love and dedication to our city, specifically his support of our senior citizens. I'm very saddened to hear of Mayor Godbolt's passing, and my thoughts and prayers are with his family. Next, we have Florida Congressman John Rutherford, who actually retweeted one of our News for Jack's posts and included his own sentiments, saying, my heartfelt condolences to the Godbolt family and all who had the pleasure to know him. Mayor Godbolt was a tremendous leader in our community and a force for good, he will be greatly missed. And finally, let's take a look at, this is such a well-written memory from the Duval Democratic Party. Jake Godbolt often considered the most prominent Democrat in the city. The group says, Mayor Godbolt exuded class, integrity, dignity, a spitfire, no-nonsense attitude, and a love for our city up until his final days. Duval Dems and the residents of Jacksonville are forever grateful for his dedicated service to our community. Tributes, they just keep coming in, not only from community, state, federal leaders, but also from so many of you. We have several stories in which you can read reactions right now on newsforjax.com. Tom, Mary? Thank you, Joy. Don't you love that picture of him, too, looking into the camera like, I got you, I got you. <laughs> He's just such a champion for the city. My favorite moment, though, among them all was when he broke down and cried when he found out we right. got the Jaguars. Yeah. He was right upstairs in our conference room and didn't know we had a camera on him. That's my Never favorite forget. moment. Never forget. <laughs>